Okay, so um, welcome to another of my videos. Today's gonna be a video on um barracuda fishing. And uh, first of all, we're gonna talk about the rig or uh the types uh of way to fish it. The first type is gonna be. I mean, I'm gonna just discuss one type. Maybe uh further on, I will discuss another one. But um, it takes too much time and doesn't fit all in one video. And so first of all, uh, what you usually what you usually use are big, large, tough hooks, like this guy right here. Um, this guy is a VMC hook, um, but I'm, I don't suggest VMC hooks because they're not as good, I don't know, like I'm a katsu or something. Um, but these guys still work good. Um, the thing is about VMC hooks, you want to sharpen them, sharpen them frequently because, um, I don't know, out of the box sometimes they're just not sharpening it enough. Typically you're gonna use a wire leader. Right now I don't have the real leaders that I use but I have some wire and I will um, show you guys how to use it. So um, I'll just get, I don't know, enough wire for me just to show you guys. I'm gonna thread it. The thing about wire is that it's very um, hard. So you can't tie a knot, and uh, even if you were to, it would be like a mess. So what you do is twist the line. You wanna have, I don't know, a couple inches, enough, like that. And then bend it, like that. Um, yeah, you wanna start twisting it. It's important to twist it well, because that is what makes it even stronger. right now I'm just gonna wire it do the wire thing very quickly because it's not very I'm not gonna use this um okay so this is enough so um technically you want to have your leader pretty um straight in general right now it's just a circle um but I just Okay, so what you want to have is a nice, not like this, but I mean like this, but neater, um, part, uh, twist it all, and uh, nicely and neatly, and the thing that I think is m most important, to, um, is to have a nice little gap here, between the hook, and the line, I mean, so that the hook can move pretty freely, because, um, if you have live bait on it, um, and it's swimming it's probably gonna either die or just um, not look real if it's still it only moves its tail and it, everything is still and everything that yeah, doesn't look natural natural at all um so um there's different techniques that you use usually um the main one that i use I mean the only one that i use is um getting a big i mean a decent side bait fish just show you guys the lure of the size that I I'd want. These guys are also good uh, lures to just use without instead of using live bait fish. Um, this guy, this guy is a blue fox. Um, ten centimeter a fish smart. Two seventy. And um, yeah, just search it up blue fox fish smart, and you find uh, the different lures. Um, this is a nice lure because it has nice made insides got wait it zooms in well um, believe me it does uh, if you don't see that it's very soft body but it's pretty durable um i really like these guys because they're very flexible and yeah and the the scent they, that they have is really good and um yeah another lure from these guys that I usually use for sea bass or stuff is let me see if I can find it for you guys quickly. Fetch it. Nope, not this guy. There you go. This is and the other blue fox fish smart vibro minnow. This is the vibro minnow. This is the sardine version. The vibro minnow is awesome. Check this guy out. It's really really small. Um. 
pretty small, but it's really made with detailed and great stuff. You guys can see it. It's still got the good inside things, and uh, it's nice and detailed if you see it. I hope it's zooming in. Um, you guys can also use this as a trailer, because it has a little trailer tail thing. But um, I don't, I just use it as a plain lure. A small jig head, and uh, that's the way I go. You guys, mind you, guys, one. As, uh, as I was saying, you, can get, you guys can use it on a jig, uh, like a trailer to add it to the jig, which is actually very good. You guys can do this. Um. Like this. I think I actually use it sometimes. The hair jig. Uh, here. Then have the. Since fish in my areas are very ferocious, I have the hook really deep in the uh, next to the eyes, and so it's really effective. Um, or also you can use it on a bear jig, which I can't find right now. Or you can use them on these hooks. Which I never remember the name. Um, with what it, with a shake spear package thing that came. Um, and I ordered them again and again. These guys are awesome. They're pretty small. They got little ridges on the back. Which are, well, let me see. Yeah, if you guys can see that. Um, those ridges are great for um for the uh, for hook sets. And what you do with this guy is put it pretty much next to like in the belly there you go and have the point come outside on the back so it's like this and now you want to have the point the whole thing come out the back and well you guys are gonna have this rig. I actually made. Uh, I actually um, invented it with a friend of mine, which I was really surprised because he like uh, made it up, and um, I started using it mostly. Practically, this is how it, the hook is in side. With it's like as if it was a normal bait, and practically what you do is with your line on the on that side push it back in and um this guy is what you end up with so practically the hook is completely buried inside with a point of the thing right there and that guy is awesome um cause when you go it up when you jig it up um it goes up and the whole end thing, a uh, trail, tri whatever, just moves around. It's like this, it looks kind of like it's dying. And goes back down a bit like this, like sideways. And that really um, is effective for me, apparently. Um, well, yeah. So now let's get this buddy right there back into the pocket. Um, another product, from, this is another product from um, Bluefish. Fish Smart. This is the Viber Minnow, and there is the Sardine. Awesome, guys. Another lure, um, before I go back to the Barracuda fishing, is this guy, um, right here. Awesome, I'm, um, these guys are from Milo, um, but I'm not sure, because it says, designed by Milo, and it says Kamagochi. I just, um, just got the same website and uh, I always go to the same shop so it doesn't really make a difference these guys check them out awesome 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 um it's actually I'm not I'm never sure which side is which but um it's both cool so I'll just have you guys check out the product itself um here you go this guy the um, I actually used this for drop shotting once. I mean, a couple times, but um, not that. It, I mean, it's good, but um, it's better when it's not used as drop shotting. Um, it's got nice, slimy thing, the slimy scent and stuff. 
and um as you guys see it's very limber the body and um it's really great lure it's very soft but um saying soft it doesn't mean it's not durable because it's very durable i can catch i don't know a couple of ferocious fish on one of these guys three or four maybe um if you're lucky and um yeah they're very durable the tail really gives lots of action to it because it, it's actually a floating minnow you can use a little jig head um maybe a, a I actually tried using a uh, shaky head rig, a jig, uh, and it was actually awesome because it would be just um, really floating and going like this around, and um, it was awesome, awesome lure. This one I really recommend it, um, especially for those um, redfish guys. These guys are awesome for the small redfish, scorpion fish. Okay, so back to the fish shark for the barracuda fishing. Um, so what you guys do with this guy is actually have I don't know enough, I guess like this much, uh, a meter or so, half a meter, I don't know, uh, a couple feet, three or four, four or six, not sure. Um, but um, I mean, I go over, like. Uh, halfway through uh, uh, half of my uh, the length of my two arms so um, I mean that's what I go for um, I'm not sure how long my arms are but whatever um, that's the way I go for them and just use it um, and uh, you just end up cutting this part off and twisting it up and tying that to a lead to the main line which is still very tough um so um, you guys just take your thing I'll just use another time sardine from Blue Fox to demonstrate the way you hook it. I mean, the way I hook it. Okay, so, um, let's say your fish is live. That's what you want to hope for. And what, what I do is, um, usually there's like a hole under it. That's probably where they poo from. Well, that is where they poo from. And, what you do is you poke it up through it and whoops let's see if I can show you guys that on camera so you poke it through the hole and then ha have it come back out from the top this time it's not very good because I'm looking more at the camera and um, to the lure but um, technically this is what you should come out with and um, what I actually found out that if is that um, the bait, the fi the big fish usually bite from the back. Well, at least from my experience. And uh, um, the fish swims like this, so it still looks very lively. And um, so yeah, so now let me unrig this boy up. Kind of destroyed the lure actually, but um. Nobody cares, it got tons more. Um um anyways, see look, it's very limber, um awesome lore. Again, if I've said another way is uh, um from the nostrils, just go it like as if it was a uh, rubber lure. Oh uh, a rubber um a uh, drop shot rig or something. It's from the nose. Um that guy will still swim pretty freely. I don't like it from the nose because, uh, as I said earlier, um, usually they bite from the back. But since very quickly can be pretty large, it um, doesn't really matter. Um, even if I like from the back. You guys can also do it with a like, little right here in the back on the tail. I don't like that. Um, so, yeah. Kind of destroying the store right now. So, let me put it back in the box let's say um so um christmas is coming and i'm hoping to get some new reels some with some i mean a new reel if it's not that new i want to still want to get it it's, i'm looking for uh, forward to getting the diva megaforce 100 tsh yeah um which is with a twitching bar especially for a squid because i actually um i don't know why um, a friend of mine said I'll try getting it for squid, so I actually um 
want it for Christmas. So um, I'm hoping to get it. And um, so yeah, to come right and subscribe, and see you later.